Um, so <laughs> I get sidetracked. So I know you guys have seen this a million times, but I wanted to try it on um, a resist canvas. And I also wanted to try one other trick that I know I've used with, my gel with the gelatos a bunch of times. I know Periscope has been annoying lately. So it's not just like my Periscopes, it's other people's Periscopes because other people seem to be fine. <laughs> Mine just seems like that. You got them today? Yeah, these are at Michael's. Regular price is, um, oops, wait, let me turn down my voice here. Can to hear me triple on here right in a second. Yeah, I messaged him. I, don't, I haven't gotten anything back. I'll try texting him, see if maybe he's still awake. I don't know if maybe he... He's East Coast, I believe, time, so he might have knocked out on us. <laughs> um, but they're $14.99 um, regular price, and they're on sale still 40% off. So you can still get them on sale, and then since I work there, I got my little extra discount. That helps a lot. Canada is $24.99. I don't know why the U.S. price is not on here. Um, but... This is my set, and I played with them a little bit. And earlier today, I don't know if anybody saw um, Craft Test Dummies. They compared them to the um, Faber-Castell crayons. I have those somewhere hiding in my house. So I've been wanting to try to compare them myself. So next chance I get, I'll do that. Oh, you got the crimper? Yes, yes. Love that crimper. I don't know why I'm stuck. See, yes. all my other... Yeah, Periscope's being a little weird today. But I wanted to try that, try these on one of these resist canvases. I just happened to be at um, Joanne's shopping for some fabric and they had these, they have a bunch of their resist canvas from this creative girl, Julie Comstock, um, on clearance. This is only $3.97. And I think we even got an extra discount because my mom went with this and she got her um, senior discount. So we think we got an extra 20% off. So I only paid like two something for this. Uh, but it has, you can see on the back, it has this really pretty... Um, flower pattern on there so I wanted to try that with the resist crayons today plus I was gonna I'm also gonna do a little something that I used to do with the gel well I still do with the gelatos where you can make your own color spray with the gelato so I'm gonna see if that works with these as well because I think it'd be kind of cool since they already come with shimmer in them since the crayons are shimmery already I wouldn't have to like add shimmer sorry for the noise i'm trying to take off the packaging um but what i used you know i'd you could use reinkers things like that and i would be able to add shimmer but they tend the shimmer tends to clog up the little spray bottles so you know i, I tend to use these little mini spray bottles or these little mini mister things and they kept clogging up because of the of the powder that i would put in for the shimmer or even if I got it in liquid, it'd still do it. Don't waste all my water out. But this is what this one looks like. And the Recollections Color Splash Collection actually has something similar to this as well. But see, this is already, um, this already has like a resist to it. You try texting them? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Uh, there might be an issue. That's the only thing I can think of. They're probably trying to fix it if there is one. Uh, but this one, you can see it has like some gold in there. But then it has some resist. I don't know if you can, I don't know if the light's going to pick it up. There you go. But you can see where all the other resist parts are. So what I want to do, I'll put this a little this way. And I, I've turned it, I'm hoping this should be in landscape for you. I turned it this way just because my brother called me because he was mad that I had it in um, in a portrait mode on, up on YouTube. It, when you have it in portrait mode on YouTube, it tends to be small unless you have it on your phone and you full screen it. It looks really small. It looks smaller. So I'm doing it landscape so it doesn't look so small when it hits YouTube later on. So what I'm going to try are these. Yeah, mine froze too. I don't know what's wrong. If I miss, uh, miss the question, I'm sorry. I can't seem to get Periscope to come up on my tablet or the other phone or anything. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So... I'm kind of having to look at the phone that I'm actually using to record. So I missed something. Sorry about that, guys. So I think I'm going to use the pink and the teal. And these don't have official colors. It's just what I'm calling them. I think a little yellow. I think I'll use these three. I think these are cute. So let's use these three colors. One thing. So what I'm going to do 
is actually just scribble right onto this resist canvas. So I want all my centers to be yellow. So I'm just going on here, finding all my centers and making them yellow. And I'm just giving in a good generous amount um, of the crayon. So one thing I noticed that it does smooth out pretty good with water, but it only goes so far. So I have noticed that I add like a little extra, like see how even that's like a little puddle, depending on how much you want it to spread out. Um, add a little bit extra so sometimes when I'm pressing down it makes all that little shaving things uh, sorry I'm trying to read your question <laughs> or read your your comment yeah I mean these look pretty cool I'll see if I'm missing any other centers oh there's a little bit of a center right here um, I think that's all the centers yep that's all the centers so I'm gonna do that one Let's do this. Mm. And I'm just gonna, and you can already see where it's resisting the color on here. You wanna help color? Or are you gonna have a fit? Okay. Mm, I got it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me move out of the way. She wants to help color. She's doing a pouty face over here with the coloring. Do this one. Or actually, yeah, do that one. Let me turn it this way. I'm going to turn this, guys. So she can color that side. Color. So we'll see how kid-proof they are right now. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Go ahead and color that one. I think I need a fourth color. And I'm going to color this one. Has anybody else already started playing with their crayons? Jill, have you played with your crayons? <laughs> I always tease Jill. She's my, one of my coworkers, and we buy a lot of stuff together. But sometimes I gotta make sure she's played with them. Like she recently bought a Cricut, and she got to play with it. These are fun. I like. They're, I mean, they're super smooth, and I'm just gonna get in there and get these little extra shavings in there. I think I'm going to use one. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use some orange. I'm barely even pressing anything. <laughs> you could do it while I'm doing the broadcast. You can play along with me. If you got them, take them out. You got it? We are yeah. very quiet. I'm going to add some... Look at all the designs that are popping orange. up. Orange. There is a lot of designs popping up, isn't there? I like that part. Isn't it neat? Yes, it is very neat. Wait, what you do you should color? play along with me. What color is this? Like a teal color, I guess. Teal? Yeah, look, you gotta get up and down all right hey, here. Hey, Don't put it too much in the same spot. Go all the way around. Got it? What does teal and yellow make? I guess I'm just gonna add a whole lot of colors. Look, let's get some purple in there. Be nice and bright. Are we coloring the top? Um, see, all right here. That's where the flower is. This is a canvas. This is like a canvas. And actually, this is more like, it's not even really canvas material. This kind of feels like, she's right, it feels like it's more cardboard. It's actually not even canvas. It's a cardboard kind of feeling. I don't think the Recollections ones are like that. I think they're actually canvas. And this, one's, this one feels a little different. Go over each other right here. Oh, the crink thing. Yeah, I let you know. I am an enabler. I can't help it. I always find some cute stuff, and I have to share. But I'm also the bargain hunter, so I love. I love, I'm one of those people that love to brag how much I don't pay. So I always try to find you a good deal. Look it. Like I said, right now is the best time to go get these since they're 40% off. So they come out like, I think eight. Look it. Eight something, eight ninety nine. I want to say. Mm, I'm look see. It. Let me see. Oh yeah, look, there's another one right there. Look, color the, look, because there's another one right in here. Do you see it? No. 
And there's another one right there. Can you color that one? Color that one pink. Look, right there. That area. Pinky. $8.99, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this supposed to win? Yeah, $8.99 with the 40% mm. off. And if you have any extra discounts, if you're a teacher, you get a discount. If you're military, you get a discount. If you're over 55, I believe, yeah, brother is military. you get a discount. There's all kinds of ways to get discounts. It's great. If you're a homeschooler, you get a discount. I'm homeschooled. Or you can always go get a job at Michael's and get an even better discount. You have big discount. Was anybody able to go to the mixed media class at Michael's today? They had a free class there today. Yeah, military veteran gets 15% off every day. That's a veteran. Someone that's been in the military. Like Uncle Weetsy and Uncle D. Mm hmm but yeah, you get, we get, they get oh, tons of discounts. Just about everybody gets a discount of some kind or another. It's not coming up. Is the sound going away again or are you guys still good? So I see people going in and out. It smells like coconut. It smells like coconut? It does not smell like coconut. Don't play with that. I don't want to lose. I don't want to I'm not playing with it. I'm trying to clean it. <sighs> she sprayed my squeaky cling on the wood. It's okay if the wood gets dirty. It's really fine. Oh, yeah. So just so you know, I love this Brutus Monroe squeaky clean. It even takes that to prove hours. a veteran, um, if you have usually your military ID of some sort, but if you have like um, old piece of a uniform, we'll usually take that. If, uh, I don't know officially anything else that they'll they'll say that you can get it with. Like if you're still part of military. Um, Credit union or anything like that, they'll take that. There's all kinds of different things. Hold on, what are you doing? No, 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 don't, 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 don't take, shake it off. We want that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you have that proves, just shows something that you're military, it'll all work. So just a, a little warning on the on the squeaky clean. I love this. It it worked to clean off everything because yesterday, from using the um or the other day from using the Brutus Monroe stamps and these. Everything on here, the ink was really hard to take off, so I sprayed it with the squeaky clean, and I was able to get it off. But I was noticing today, do you see my nail? It apparently can take off nail polish. So just be a little careful about that. It is that it is that good that it takes off nail polish. I don't know if maybe it's the kind of nail polish I have, because I didn't notice it was a little different. But I was cleaning my stamps right now, and I looked down, and the nail polish was gone. <laughs> no, don't spray more. It's going to, don't, don't, don't. Don't go it upside down. Feel wet. I know, but if you do it upside down, it's gonna suck up into the to the bottle. That's the only thing is if you're cleaning this with squeaky clean, take off the top so that it doesn't get sucked back up into your um, up into the barrel up here where the water is being held. All right, so one of the things I've seen there that in the instructions tell you is to get a water brush, and you can get a water brush, or you can get a paint brush, and dip it in water. However, you want to do this but you just let out some water and you can go ahead and paint with it so you can like smooth out all that water and blend it out and i squeeze it just to let out a little extra water in there so you can do it that way which is nice because you can kind of get some of the control over it but this will pull out all that watercolor nicely i'm gonna get a different one to do that center Where's my, oh, yeah, I kind of need that. I, I already cleaned them. <laughs> She's cleaning all my brushes. <laughs> oh, I want to, I want to, I want to. Oh, well, that's what I needed that little one for right now. Can you do the centers? Okay, let me just close Okay, so this one, this one's a nice big wide one. This one I got, oops, sorry. This one's a nice big wide one. Water brush. Also got this one at Michael's. I did the center. Before, water brushes were so hard to find, and now there's like four different kinds in Michaels. Remember, I have this one customer that would come in all the time looking for water brushes, and you'd always miss it because we'd only get one or two in. But if not, like I said, you, if you have a, just a regular paintbrush, Q-tip, whatever, it'll pull Is it that out. Is enough? That one? Yeah, that looks watered enough. 
I'm going to use the same water brush for the same colors and I'll switch water brushes for different okay. colors. <laughs> so we have another one for the blue. You got it? Just a little bit. You don't need to do too much. And I'm leaving all these chunks that fell off of the crayon to help add more color. Oops, I missed one over here. I did all of them. See that? It just blends right in. Oops. Mixed up that blue a little too much. That one has a big chunk of yellow right there. I'm trying to get it to smush out a little. Let's see. Okay, this one has the purple. You just want to be careful to not turn it to mud. That's the reason I am using separate brushes for separate colors. She's cleaning them off a little by little. But don't keep putting this on because it's going to ruin them. You get those, you can just use the baby wipe for it. You don't need that. It's not that strong. So I, I'm telling her not to use my squeaky clean because she's cleaning it off with squeaky clean. Um, you don't need that to wipe off this watercolor. It's it's not as strong as using like the Brutus Monroe chalk inks. But... So you want to be careful. This one you really just need water this to clean off berries. your brushes. I'm just, for time, this I like pulled out all berries. of them. It does? For time, I pulled out all my water brushes, so I had a separate water brush for each color. And cherries. And cherries. I like cherries. I'm not cherry play with things, but I like cherries, but I don't like play with, cherry play with things. And the only one I don't have one for is the pink. So I'm going to finish these you colors and do the pink last. You yeah, can you put it back on? <laughs> Let's see, so I got all those purples. I think I got all the oranges. I love the gold underneath. I think, though, to get more of that gold to come out, you add a little there. extra water. No. Hmm? This is really, really blue. It is. So you can blend some of those colors together, give it more of a watercolor look. It I need that blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could also spritz it if you wanted to. That's one thing I'm gonna try on this big blue one. Big blue. Just to help it along. I made that one. If you spritz it, you can move it around with your finger, but it's gonna give you a different look. You can see how it's gonna smush it and it's giving me swirlies. Whereas the brush is going to give you a slightly different look. I need the blue one back. <laughs> Does it smear what? I just missed the last part. Does it smear what? Yeah, let me see. Sorry, like I said, for some reason it's not coming up on my tablet. So it Daddy? takes me longer to read the questions and comments. Um, after it dries a little bit, it's not as much, but I think it always is a little bit wet. So I would think you need to, um, once you get it a thin layer, it doesn't smear as much. Hey, when it goes dark, it makes it look better. But I would say to add maybe, um, a final fixative or something on it just to keep it from smearing forever or even just play it, spray it with like acrylic if you want something to stay. But for the most part, it doesn't. Seems to stay pretty well in place. But since it's never really completely dry, but once you add the water to it, since you're thinning it out, it does dry a lot more than when it's in its um, solid form. Heat, yeah, heat should set it pretty well. But I'm thinking the heat will only really set it once it's thinned out with the water. Get this. You never ate your hot pocket. I did eat it. I ate part of it. See? So hi for anybody that's joining us. We're just playing with the um, Recollections crayons. Which are these. If you haven't seen them yet. And I'm pretty sure everybody's just about seen them yet. But we're playing with the Recollections crayons. And a resist well canvas of sorts. <laughs> like I said. This is. it. It's It feels like.
like a coat of colors to blend in a little more. I think we're good. Yeah, that looks pretty. Look at that. And it's instant. Like I said, I got this one at Joann's, but with the recollections, when you buy the um when you buy the the crayons, there's actually should be right underneath them, unless you're getting them in the in the marker section. Um, right underneath them there are canvases and the resist paper, but they have a couple of different canvases in there. And if your store clearance them out, there are some older resist canvases and things that might be up in their clearance. Although I've heard some people got a lot of stuff at the grab bags today. Hey, yeah, did we have grab bags today, Jill? <laughs> I didn't see anything. If we did, we must have got rid of them fast. <laughs> I went to teach my class. I did not see grab bags or I was just not paying attention enough. Yeah, Easter, right? Yeah, there was Easter grab bags today, but apparently some stores actually had um, stuff other than Easter in there. They had some other clearance in there. I know some stores get special permission to get rid of some of their extra clearance. If they have a lot of clearance, they sometimes get to, um, get to put them in their grab bags. And right now I'm just covering the sides. Yeah, it, it's supposed to be all Easter because that was like officially what we were supposed to put on grab bags today but I know one one person that did a periscope earlier today um she got cricket cartridges in hers so she ended up with four cricket cartridges because she bought two grab bags and she ended up I think with four cricket cartridges I think you're in here are you in here yeah and no, ours was just Easter Easter and we we're not allowed to buy the grab bags so we always like when you guys are able to get them but uh, Michael's employees are not are not allowed to buy grab bags. Just adding some orange to that edge so I can, oops, wrong pen. So I can add a little more color. So that's the only thing, if you become a Michaels employee, you gotta give up your brick grab bags, so you don't get to get them anymore. <laughs> Just adding color so the sides have some color in there. This is when I should be wearing my apron. I keep forgetting to put on an apron. We can see that side. All right, I know it's really close to the camera. I'll pull it back down in a second, but I can't reach this edge very well. There, I think you can see it a little. Hmm, that purple. Oh yeah. Definitely cardboard. Should your water brush be getting what? Part of it was covered, sorry. Should your water brush be getting, part of it was cut off. There's never dumb questions, like ever. There's never dumb question. The clip that's holding my phone keeps covering the middle of what you say. <laughs> um. Your water brush, sometimes you'll have to squeeze it to get it wet. So I, you may not be able to see me actually doing it, but I am squeezing a little bit right here on the barrel. It's even like my, this water brush actually tells you to push. I don't know if you can see that. Mine actually tells you right there to push on it. Uh, but you do need to squeeze it in and it will, it will get wet. Some of them, sometimes when you're just pushing down on the brush like this, will wet itself but a lot of times you have to push down on the um you have to squeeze the barrel a little bit to get it to actually give you water and then this is actually it's definitely more of a cardboard on the sides this top part is like a coated cardboard this is like just cardboard so i can feel it peeling up just a bit so we're getting just that little bit of a it's pulling away the paper on here a little bit so just be careful if you do grab the one from Joann's I'm not sure if the recollection one is made the same way um, but if you get the one from Joann's just be careful because this, this edge you don't want to soak it too much it is getting kind of all pulled away from itself and peeling just like a sweater would peel so it ends up with all this little papers everywhere let's get some pink in there you're hungry 
been eating all day. My son is telling me he's hungry, of course, at the last minute when he needs to get to bed soon. From what I heard, he's been munching on stuff all day, and I'm going to end up with the kid with a stomach ache tomorrow. <gasps> Stop shaking the table, please. Not working. Yeah, no, I don't know what's up with Periscope. I'm going to add that one. And some purple. This is fun. This is like a fun, fast project because it's already already sectioned out. You know the picture's gonna come out good, but I mean you could totally see doing like another canvas with a stamp and just using some embossing powder and making your own. I could really see this for a kid's party because no matter what they're painting oh, will come out fabulous. Look, it's a crafty dog. I see the crafty dog. All right, there we go. All right, we've got all the edges covered with some sort of paint on them at least. I like to get in there just to get rid of some of that squiggly. But I'm liking it. That is cute. I'm going to focus. There we go. Oh, because the dog's right there. I don't know why it won't, baby. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm just smoothing out some of the chunks that are in here. My tablet's not working either. I don't know why it's not. Maybe, unless Daddy's downloading something. That might be it. What do you mean? Well, sometimes it takes up the internet. What you see? Sorry, I'm trying to read it. Oh, okay. There's a resist on the canvas. Yeah, it's a resist picture. There isn't any on the sides. But just right there. And the back, oh, that's good. I just noticed that the back of it actually has little hanging holes right here. There's two little holes to hang on. But it's like, it's just a cardboard. I said this is like a weird slick surface, but look, see what's happening? I don't know if you can see that. There's actually, it's starting to, hmm, yeah, it's starting to get a little bubble right there. You can see it pressing right there. So just be careful. They are in clearance, so I mean, can't beat it for clearance. It was pretty good price. I like it. All right, so the other thing, if you have no questions about this one, I think, yeah, see, I'm still able to, oh yeah, I like that though too. I'm still able to push this and I can still feel a little bit of the creaminess of it. So yeah, definitely probably have to try to heat set it and see if it doesn't go anywhere. Look at my hand, my finger is sparkly. But it might also be because, like I said, this is like a, it's like a coated Mommy, look it. cardboard of some kind. Look at my finger is sparkly. It's sparkly? Yeah. Yeah, that's the best part about that. It's sparkly. So not only am I getting like the little gold sparkles, there's the whole shimmer of the whole thing. I don't know whose room this is probably going to end up in. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter claims everything that's pretty. Really? And my son claims everything that's distressed. All right, so the other thing I wanted to try real quick. <laughs> well, let it dry. It's not dry. The other thing I wanted to try is one thing that, that I've seen done with gelatos, and I've done it, is that you can cut a chunk off, put it in a spray bottle, shake it up, and it creates a spray mist. So we're going to try it with this. What color should we make? Um, what color should I make, guys? Lavender. What would you like to see made into one of the sprays? Lavender. Lavender, you want the purple? Lavender. Lavender. Well, that's the closest. Well, that's kind of, but that, I don't have a lavender. Green? Why can't you just make lavender? Green? Okay, we'll do green. No, pink. Pink. I have pink. Let's try the green. All right. <laughs> we have lots of pink. pink. All right, I'm going to use a spray bottle. It's just like a basic little spray bottle. So you can pick these up at Michael's. You can pick some of these up on Brutus Monroe. They're fairly small size because you don't need a whole lot sometimes. But these have a really good mist when they spray. So I am going to get, where are they actually? I'm just going to cut these off with my Aww. Tim Holtz scissors. I love the Tim Holtz. I'm talking. Here, enter. For a second. Sorry. Um, I like the Tim Holtz scissors because they have the Teflon coated. I don't want to do both of them. <sighs> I have someone throwing a fit already. 
So I'm just going to cut off a couple of slices off of this. But like I said, Tim Holtz Teflon, so they clean off pretty easy. So I'm going to cut off a couple of bits. I'm going to clean off my scissors real quick so I don't accidentally start cutting something later on and I forget to clean them. And we are going to put these in here. I'm just picking them up with my hand. I'm throwing them right in. So I'm just putting the chunks in there. You can tell they're pretty heavy chunks. So they're most of them are going right to the bottom. See that they're sinking right to the bottom. You want to shake it up for me? You're not gonna talk to me now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she was mad at me because I wouldn't let her use up my other bottle. So shake it up really good like that. All right, she's shaking up off camera real quick. Sorry, guys. Can't watch that part, I guess. Over here. Can you go over here? Mm -hmm. Over here. So that way they can see it. Shake up. Yeah. All right, let's see. Slow it down. Let's see. Stop for a second. Oh, yeah. See, that's, that's, ooh, that's working pretty good on the shake up part. I still see it in there, so we definitely got to shake it up for a little while. And I'll grab a gelato so we can compare it, and then you can make pink. pink. Keep shaking it on camera. I'm gonna shake while I grab a gelato. What's a gelato? Remember those other sticks I got? Isn't that also a type of chocolate? And it's also a type of chocolate. It's also a type of ice cream. Like grandma does not like? Yes. Scoot over. Mm. She's still shaking. How's it going? Is it is it dissolving yet? Not really. Kinda sort of. Still at the bottom. Still at the bottom? Oh not as much though. Let me see what I got. It. I know, I'm trying to see it real quick, please. Peace. Move your legs, please. Thank you. Peace. So, let me move that to the side. Um, it still has not looking. It has a couple of chunks. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see how when I'm turning it, it has a few chunks. So, it's probably good if there was like a little ball Peach? on there. Peach? Peach? Gotta ask Christopher where he got his little shaker balls so I can get those for in here. <laughs> but it seems the color's mixing. I know it's probably hard to see, but it does look like maybe some of that iridescent shimmeriness is coming out on there. I could swish it. Yeah, you could definitely swish it first. That's the one thing I was thinking. I just wanted to try it and see if it worked this way. <laughs> because with the gelatos, a lot of them times. Give me a second and trust this. With the gelatos, a lot of times they just put it in here and it and it and it goes ahead and just smushes on its own in here. So that's why I wanted to test it to see if it was able to just do it on its own. But definitely, I'd probably use like a little dish. I'd probably use a little dish and smash it with the water and then pour it in after. So that's what I'm thinking. Because here's like I'm thinking, just get a little jar, smash it all in there, probably work. But I do want to see if this is going to spray and how it sprays. Oops. Yeah. So here's just one of the watercolors so we can see how it looks. Could turn my daughter green. Mm -hmm. Here. Eh. Wait, it might be just the barrel. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The barrel still had water in it. So it's not a bright green. I don't know if you guys can even see how much green is actually getting on there. Let me wipe that off again. I can see it is spraying out green because it's on the paper towel. But the color's really light. It's a really, really faint green. So if you're wanting to give something green shimmer, that is definitely working. I know you're mostly seeing the wetness, but there is a bit of shimmer. So... Oh, I can see it dripping down some green, so that's not bad. It's mostly, I do see the shimmer in there though, so that's good. It's good for a shimmer spray. So I'm thinking it's good for a nice tinted shimmer spray. Not so much a heavy, heavy, heavy color, but a good shimmer spray. So you can see, and guys, if you haven't seen, this is where I keep my gelatos. I love these containers. You can get them at Michael's. Um... They sometimes will have it with the regular containers, but for sure, I know they have some the same shape in the kids section with the kids containers, but these are great. This one I happen to get from Target, actually, and it comes stacked like this, so the, the upper one becomes the lid for the bottom one. 
Whereas the other ones, I'm pretty sure you could probably do the same thing, but the other one, they're single, but they're perfect size for gelatos. So I love these. So these are perfect, perfect for gelatos. They're like the perfect size. You can fit two rows in it. So I think, oh, you want to do pink, huh? All right, hold on. Forgot she wanted to do pink. Yeah, this one was this one was at Target. This one that's already stacked on itself. Um, but I have other ones that come by themselves, and I got those ones from Michaels. And they're about they're about comparable on price, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think this one was like six dollars, somewhere around that for the double thing like this. And I'm assuming you could just keep stacking them because this is the lid, and then you could just keep stacking them and holding them all to themselves on here. Yeah, in the container section at Target. But like I said, you can get them at Target. You can get them at Michaels. I like getting them at Michaels because they they come out a lot less expensive because they go on sale there a lot. Although I think when I got this at Target, it might have been on sale. And one thing I use a lot, my other one, you would see it, but I actually use this for like a pellet. So I tend to like rub my gelatos on here. So I have to clean them every once in a while. All right, let's see. So which color? Which one? Peach. Peach. In Michaels, you can find them in the scrapbook section, but they come every once in a while. And you can also find them in the this peach or this one. Peach, peach, peach. That one, peach. peach. That's pink. Okay, pink. You can find them at in the kids section, also. Um, the kids ones just have like a design usually on top of it. Maybe it's gonna get dirty. And the kids section, it's probably because it's in the kids section. A lot of people don't realize that there's stuff in there, but they, the one that I've gotten in the scrapbook section, it comes and goes. They bring it back and then it disappears and it comes again. But in the kids section, um, ours are next to the Crayola crayons with all the little kids storage. And there's just a bunch of little containers that all match and they have these clips. So, right, so we're going to try this color. I don't think that's going to show up. Yeah. Want to mm -hmm. try a darker one? Mm-hmm. Want to try a darker one better? That one. <laughs> yeah, let's, we're going to try a brighter one just because I don't think that one's... That one's actually just as light as that one. That one? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try that one. We're going to try it in this little bottle here. All right, we'll hold that. We'll try this. Scissors, please. Mm. Hmm. I'm just going to try a little. Now see, gelatos are much thicker. You can tell by how it crumbled while I was trying to cut it. It's more like shaving it off than... The other one was so smooth it just cut straight through. Hold on, don't spray it. So let's give this a try. Put some pieces in there. Got them in? All right, I think the bottle is going to get in there. Hmm. Just as heavy, it looks like. Where is did I put Oh, I don't want to get the... No, I'm trying to make sure that I don't end up shoving the... the spray part into it and clogging it up. So I'm trying to... Yeah. I'm trying to get it to, like, lay on the side real quick. Yeah, because I think... Okay, yeah, it's not in there. Here, go ahead. Um, you're making noise. That's my husband getting food, okay, guys? Sorry about the noise. <laughs> well, while she's shaking this, you can see how the gelatos work. Although I think that gelato might be actually drying up. Or getting a little dry anyway. Do you see? I mean, they're pretty. They're similar. Not quite the same. Shake it. She's shaking the other one. Daddy has blue. Yeah, Daddy's has blue. And Baby Duck blue. There's that one. Oh, I have no water left. Okay. Pour some water on that one. I mean, they both seem to smooth out about the same. So, I mean, that's the crayon and that's the gelato. And they seem to play well next to each other. Let me see that, so I can show what the progress is, please. Thank you. 
So right now she's shaking up the gelato and this is what she's got. Well, she was ignoring it for a minute. So you can see the gelato, it's the same thing. It looks like that one stays, oops, sorry. That one stays a little harder yeah, in there, a little longer. Yeah, let's take lipstick. Looks like lipstick, yeah, it's not lipstick, so don't play with it, put it in there. <laughs> She's about to lipstick out my expensive gelato. Yeah, that is the other difference, gelatos. Gelato. Gelatos have a pretty good price tag on them. What is this from? Where are you getting that from? It's just right here. All right, so it looks like that's about as mixed as that one's gonna get right now. I'm pretty sure if I left it in there longer, it may stay longer. So okay, let me get some of those first spritz as out of there. So you know, those are not gonna be tinted as much. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No, it is. Look. So it's about the same thing. It's giving you a really slight misty. It's misty. And it's not showing up on the camera as much, but it is giving you a little bit of a a pinkness. Another tint again. This one's actually spraying out some of the flecks. You can see that on there. You see all the speckles. This smells like raspberries. You got them on clearance? I've never seen gelato on clearance. Oh no, there was a kit that I saw on clearance one time. It does smell good. So I'm wiping that off. Mm, smells good. I'm sure if both of these sit long enough or sit overnight, they'll melt themselves down nicely. But of course we want to play with them now. So this is just a little jar of water. So I think I'm going to get that. And let's try a different color. I'm going to try purple this time, I think. I don't have any purple sprays, I think. I'm just going to chop off a bit of that. Still has happy, to happy. Yeah. Then smash it. Okay. Smash it. Yep. I'm gonna smash it. Smash it. If you smash it, thingy, is that water? You have a test store in what? Sorry, I missed that. Seems to break down pretty quick, though. I do notice that. Oh, yeah. I know one time we had, like, a test like I said I know we get test stuff every once in a great while we got the really long DCWV paper wants to test out and I was so sad because <laughs> I guess it just didn't sell and we had to throw it all away it was sad it didn't even go on clearance would have got it on clearance <laughs> Our store gets a pretty good amount of clearance, but not as much as I've seen some other stores. I know I saw on Facebook recently somebody posted their um, their store's clearance. Yeah, they threw it away. I don't know why, and that was a weird one. Usually it will go on like deep clearance, because I know like when the um, when the Faber Castell crayons, we had gotten a whole line of the kids' Fabers, and they have Faber Castell crayons that look similar to this, and um, when we got those, it, they just weren't selling it. I don't know why. I think something happened weird with the timeline. And those went like, all of a sudden they went 60% off. And then within a week, they went 80% off. And I bought all kinds of stuff then. When we had gotten those, I mean, I got color pencils and the crayons and watercolor pencils. And their stuff, even though it was for kids, is really good quality. You know, it's up there with a lot of the... You know better quality art supplies especially when it was labeled for kids and i got stuff for like a dollar two dollars i think the crayons came out like two something but that one i don't know why they threw it away unless there was something wrong with them i know like at christmas we got like boxes we had to throw away and some poinsettias they got thrown away just because they had like mold or something and they didn't want it to go out to the consumer of course I know they do sometimes I get like my brushes in that section right I don't know if you can see that oh yeah you can see that really good you see that shimmer that's coming out really nicely look at all that yeah there's a recall on some poinsettias because they got like I guess whatever warehouse they came out of or something like that had water damage so I think it was poinsettias and some of the decorative boxes but it was only a certain one that got wet so they got rid of them 
it's just like any other store. Some things get recalled for parts. Some things get recalled for safety. But look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't it? I love the shimmer. You make your own shimmer spray out of this. But it does seem to have um, a really, really, really light shimmer to it. Let me try this. Because even... I can tell just by, even though I'm seeing a ton of shimmer in there, this one wasn't the gelato. This one was the, um, this one was the crayon. So this is this one, but I can tell just by looking at the water. And I, I know, I think for you guys, it looks a lot thicker than it is. It's really, really watery. So I don't know though if I add, I'm pretty sure if I add more and more, add a whole stick in here, maybe it would give me a better color, but I can already tell that when I, try if I were to try to spray this it would really give me a really light tint yeah that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do so yeah if I were to turn this into a spray even though you see a bit right there that's because that's still a really thick amount of water on there but if I were to turn this into a spray it would give me just a nice light purple shimmer I don't think it would give me a lot of color this is like a big pool of water that's why you're seeing more of the color but yeah look at that see it's gonna give me just a really light shimmer so I think this would be good for like coloring like flowers and stuff like that I don't know if it would from here on the camera you don't see it as much but I know I can see a little bit no, I don't think it's a waste to do it. I think it would be still really good because, well, let me see. Let me show you. I don't think it would be a waste. I think it would be really pretty if you just want to, you need to like add shimmer to something. You could do like maybe a couple of drops and stuff, but it would give you that tint. And I was going to grab, um, I'm going to grab a white flower and see if that makes a difference. So I just grabbed this white flower so we can spritz it and see what that looks like. I want to spritz, I want to spritz. I think it was a flower that I took apart from something else or somewhere. Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to use this. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. I don't want to dump it. Hmm. Try it again, try it again, try it again. So let's see. I'm just putting, I'm dumping this into it so you guys can see and... Just putting that on. We will try the green in a second, baby. No, like it's giving it a really light, sh um, a really light tint, which I kind of like. So, like, what if you were to do, I know on there it just looks wet, but it actually has a really pretty light lavender look. All right, she's gonna spritz the other side. This is like a flower that I took apart, and it's a giant mess now, so it's perfect thing to test on. Go and spritz. Okay. Oh yeah, it's giving it a good spritz on there. So I guess it depends on the paper you're using. Said so um. In person, it's a lot brighter than it is coming up on camera, I'm noticing. But it's giving it a pretty, a nice pretty tint. So I can see it for tinting something really light where you just want a, a really light tint of color. Will look great. I mean, I'm sure if I get this and like really, you know, get in there, I could get a way better, I need a purple one. I could get a way better color in there. So right there, that was just me scribbling it on. Its edges are glued down, it feels like. So I mean, that would give it way better coverage, but so that's like scribbling it on and just adding water to it. But I think definitely if you want like a nice light that's tint, to do that. it's really good for a really light tint. Mom, that's not to do that. No, what did you do to my... All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope you learned a couple things along with me learning it. If you guys have questions, let me know. I'm just gonna start cleaning up. So if you have any questions, let me know. So again, I mean, love, love, love the way this came out. Too close. Now it's been drying. Okay, it's too been close. drying for a while. One thing, it's definitely got that bubble in there now. It's too close, Mom. It's too close, yes, thank you. This is my director over here, just so you know. 
So, <laughs> yes, I will see you tomorrow. So it's it's been drying for a while, looks like, and it it's not pushing as much anymore. Yes, I have to go to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. So I hope you like it. Pick up some canvas or get some um, embossing powder. Make your own. I love it. It's pretty. Oh, and ca oh, if I'm not mistaken, canvas is on sale at Michael's right now. I think it's like, there's one of them. I think it's buy one, get two free or something like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So everybody have a good night because I got to get this one too late these last few days.